All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question from the first chapter of Beer and Johnson textbook, Mechanics of Materials. And in this question, we know that each of the four vertical links has an 8 by 63 millimeter uniform cross section. And each of the four pins has a 16 millimeter diameter. And we need to determine the maximum value of the average normal stress in the links connecting at the A part point B and D and in the B part of the question at point C and E. So let's start with the givens that we have in this question and from the first line we know that the intersection that we have in here is 8 by 36. What does that mean? That means that let's just consider this section of this link here. So basically we have that link in here and the cross section that we are talking about is this cross section which from the question we know is 8 millimeter by 36 millimeter and obviously we are in the middle so I'm just doing two sections in the middle and it will be uh, a little bit different at the cross section where the pin exists because when we go to the pin, which is somewhere in here, we'll have a different cross section and the cross section in the pin will be something like this. So this will be the cross section that we have at where the, the two pins are located. And we solved the question in the previous video regarding uh, why do we care about these two different uh, cross sections and the answer is when this link is in tension, the maximum value of the normal stress would happen where the pins are located. So let's say this link is in tension. If that's the case, the scenario that we have for tension would be this one. And when we are in compression, the scenario will be uh, different. And when the link is in compression, the area and the cross section that we have is this one so we'll be in compression so that's the main message of this question uh before we get to nitty-gritty of this question but i just want to mention at the beginning if there is any confusion about the cross section or these dimensions that we have in here and, and basically in the second line with where, where we have each of the four pins has a 16 millimeter diameter obviously we are talking about uh this diameter which is 16 millimeter so we have to find the value of average normal stress which basically we need force divided by area and in order to find these two so we have two different uh, conditions first at B and D which are the links on the left link uh, where I showed all these cross section and the, the B part we have to show at point C and E. So in order to find the, as I mentioned, first of all, we have to find the force or P in here. And if you want to do that, we have to start with the free body diagram. And let's just draw the free body diagram for the ABC bar. So basically, this is the bar that we have. And we have three points A, B, and C. At point A, we have this force here, the 20 kilonewton force. I'm talking about this force. Uh, we don't know what's going on in B and C. So let's just consider them in this direction for now. And we're going to figure this out later. We can call this one, this one FBC and the other one we can call them FC. And we have information about all the dimensions. So basically this part is 0.25 meter and this will be 0.4 meter. And we have our static equations. We're going to use the 2D shortcut that we have for finding the moment. Um, I have another channel for solving the engineering mechanics. So in that channel, I'm covering all these 2D moments in a static condition. And we're going to use a 2D shortcut that basically uses the distance or actually the vertical distance to the line of action. Since all of our force are in Y direction, it's pretty easy to find the vertical distance, which is what we have in here. But yeah, feel free to check that channel if you want to get deep into a finding moment in 
2D and 3D questions. But so in here, out of all those equilibrium equations that we have, if we go with some of all forces equals zero, we have two unknowns in y direction. So it's not going to help us. So it's better to go with our moment equations. And if you want to do that, let's go with finding the moment about point. So this is A, so this point is B, and this point is C. If you do the moment about point C, I'm gonna call it counterclockwise positive, we can get rid of the force of FCE. So we'll end up with only one unknown, which is FBC, and we can find FBC, and as long as we have the force, it should be easy enough to find the average normal stress. So let's do that so fbc let's find the moment about c so we have the moment of 20 kilonewton force which as we can see is in this direction so it will be a positive moment uh it will be a negative moment since it's clockwise so we have negative 20 kilonewton times distance from a to c which is basically 0.4 plus 0.25 and we have the moment of fbc which is a counterclockwise moment so positive sign and the distance will be 0.4 is equal to zero since we are in equilibrium condition so if we calculate this we're going to find fbc is equal to 32 kilonewton and as we can see the direction is correct no negative sign that shows that fbc is in a correct direction that's not the whole story what we are interested in is the maximum average normal stress in the link BC. So that's the force that the link is applying to this part, which means the link is actually in the opposite direction based on the Newton's law. So that's our FBC, which shows that our link is in tension. So if that's the case, let's just get back in here. We see that when we have the tension, in the link uh, we're gonna deal with this intersection I should have showed the other one actually with red so the red condition is when the link is in compression so since that's the case uh, we can find the area in here which is basically the area of the shaded area minus the the rectangle empty space in the middle we know again this is eight millimeter so this side is eight and this one is 36 millimeter so basically the area of the area for BC is eight times 36 minus eight times 60 and this is the where the hole is located or the empty area and that way we can find the area which if we calculate this we'll get uh, 160 millimeter squared or 160 times 1 10 to the minus 6 if we want to get it in meter squared so now that we have this it's pretty easy to find the maximum average normal stress for BC the force is already 32 kilonewton or 32,000 newtons and the area we found it in the previous step 160 times 10 to the minus 6 meter squared times 10 to the 6 uh, newton over meter squared so that would be the first part of this question the normal stress in BC and if we go to the second part of the question so we have we have the same so that was the a part of the question let's move on to the b part of the question where we have again the same free body diagram so that's our free body diagram this time we are looking for fce so if we do the moment about fbc we can find fce and based on fc we can find the average normal stress so let's do the fbc so we have the moment of a so we are looking for the moment about point b counterclockwise positive so if you look at here we'll see that so we're doing the moment about point b that the 20 kilonewton force is clockwise moment so minus 20 times the distance that we have is 0.25 and we also have the moment of FCE, which is again clockwise, so negative. That shows that um, the direction is actually in the opposite way. And the distance is 0.4. And this will be equal to zero. And from here, we can find FCE, which will be 
minus 12 point minus 12.5 kilonewtons so the negative sign shows that the force is actually in the opposite direction so if that's the case the correct direction is upward and if that's upward that means the link has to be in the opposite direction that's going to be fce same here and if that's the case that shows that the members in compression and the area that we have for ce will be the first condition that we discussed in here so basically the area would be 36.8 uh, millimeters squared so the area if you want to find the area of ce will be 8 times 36 which will be 288 uh, millimeters squared and if you want to get it in meter we have 10 to the minus 6 meters squared and we're just going to put uh, everything in here so FCE was 2.5 kilonewton or 2.5 times thousand newton and what we have for the area was 288 times 10 to the minus 6 meter squared and we can have the negative sign in here too and if we calculate the F the average normal stress in CE will get minus 21.7 times 10 to the 6 newton Per meter squared or minus 21.7 mega pascal so this will be equal to pascal so the average normal stress in ce will be 21.7 and that would be the final answer for the b part of the question i don't think we wrote this one so this one basically would be 32 mega pascal too and yeah that would be pretty much for this one hope you guys find this one helpful let me know if you have any question or any better solution to solve this and don't forget to subscribe this channel like and comment and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one